previously on the NoVP channel. I remember the first time I tried my heavenly indulgent crab mac and cheese, I farted. And coming up, Drew Barrymore falling out of that window and she's held on by just like a tiny G-string. What a twist, was. what a twist. No. Thought she died, she hadn't. She would have had a fucking yeasty. That G-string went right up her snatch. I find you very rude. <laughs> The No Vimpia Channel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who, starting soon, get access to season three of No Vimpia's Asshole Race. Start the shit show. Good evening. No. My name is Nova and this is the No Vimpia News. What? Because oh, we're on a desk. Yeah, it's just giving me very like news round. No, news round, they stood up, didn't they? It's very like news vibes. News round was hysterical because it was for kids, but yeah. they tried to make news for kids. Yeah. It was a great idea, I think. And it was like, oh, a lift just, has like, fallen tried. and 11 people are no longer having fun. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea. It's like just cheap. trying to filter it a little bit, but still getting facts out to a younger Does audience. Does it look good? Can you see? It looks, it looks as good as it's going to be. We don't look great, so. Uh, it's, it is what it is. I hate you, Brit. <laughs> <laughs> and... It's been a while. Oh, oh, God, it's like pick a note, any note. Key change. Our love. <laughs> How does it go? Key change. Our, our... This wasn't a duet, but okay. Do you remember it? It's another Novimpia Fames and Shitters. It's been a long time since we did one. Oh, that's why you did that, Brittany. It's been a while. Yes. It's been a while. Yes. We planned on doing one a month. Remember that fucking storyline? Hysterical. I Who you would kidding? still like to do that. Oh, shut your clammy asshole. You're so stupid. We're never going to do that. This is a rare treat for you, so get into it. Um, it is, where, where are we now? September. September is like the, so the start of spooky season. It's Virgo season. It's a good month, September. You're a bit. Yeah. You are a Virgo. Yeah. So shout out to all the Virgos out there. We need to talk about your birthday present because I've not got shit. Right. Well, you sent a message to the group chat earlier and you said, there's a mysterious parcel here. Is this, is this my birthday present? And I didn't read who it was sent to. And I thought, oh my God, because I haven't got you anything. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. And then I was like, well, no, no. So it's faves and shitters. Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. Well, another great, great Novimpia video. <laughs> um, we've done these for nigh on years now. Mm. Oh, you're baptised now. What? No! <laughs> no! Oh, you're baptised now. <laughs> and um, we do... than all of us now. <laughs> we do three favourite things of the current present that we're really into, mm -hmm. that, we've, mm -hmm. that we're faving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then three shitters. Okay, yeah. That, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Three shitters that we don't care for mm. of the moment. And if mm. anything, oh, it can be a brand just what, of, we're, just what we're feeling at the moment, what we're know, particularly okay. vibing with or not vibing with. Cereal just, bar or? Just anything. Televisual treats or yeah. something. You know, is there any more housekeeping we need to do? We could just get straight into I it. I think we could just get into it. People have switched off already. Okay. They, oh, off we go then. Oh, I start. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm very excited about this first one because I've not, I've kept this from you. Have you got that there for a reason? Is that one of them? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, apple and mango juice. I like to stay hydrated. Well, since you've pointed it out, now's as good a time as any. <laughs> right. Mm. Sorry, I interrupted. Carry on. I put water in this. Uh. Because I find it a bit thick. Uh. My mother did used to do that. That's and disgusting. I'd do it as well. That's, That's not disgusting. Gross, yeah, it it's is. too thick. Mango makes everything too thick. <sighs> you got thick head. <laughs> <laughs> my first favourite is an app for, for my mobile telephone device. Right. And it's a game. Right. Now, do you, when you download a game on your phone, do you do not it often? Do. What if you if you play a game? You don't really play games though. Not on my phone. Pokemon you'd play. Even that, like, I go through waves of playing it. You don't like. play Gardenscapes anymore. 
No. I mean, I Sometimes don't Sometimes I will, though. Like, but, like, I, I go, well, I'll go, like, months without playing it. But I have a thing where if I download a game, it either goes immediately or it stays forever. I'll know within a few minutes. And this is, this is a key part. Because there aren't fucking adverts every two seconds. You know when you, like, complete a level that will last well, 10 seconds? Well, these games are free to play. I understand that. And I'm not opposed to the adverts. I get that they're free. I'm not completely just wanting something without anything. Which is a little bit how this works, isn't it? Um, I beg your pardon. But I've got I this beg game, your pardon. and the level takes a while to do. It's a little bit cerebral. It's called Water Connect Puzzle. That sounds shit. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll, we'll put the video up so you can see how you do it. Basically, it's very, very casual. And what it is, is like a board. You see this here? Oh, I hate that. I'll tell you what, let me record the screen. I'll record the screen. What do you mean you hate it? It just doesn't look very good. No, it doesn't. No, it looks great, actually. What do you mean? Okay, so, but basically, you need to move all the pieces and you get the, the water starts from like here, for example, and it flows through and you need to get them to these little bits. And when you get it to like a little nipple, it's sort of like exposed in a tree. It's nice. What is this like? This is like something else. It's nice. It's past from Pashmina. This is a bit like the mini games from Spider-Man. I don't know what that is. When you're, it's something to do with um, the mini games that Peter can do. You carry on, I'm just gonna um, like. <laughs> and it's, you've gotta like connect circuits and it's very, very similar. Well, I to doubt that. this is the original. And you have pieces and you twist it round. It's just, it's but very I, similar to that. I like this because it's not, it's not super difficult, but it's also not a piece of piss. You know, when you see adverts for games, first of all, you'll see an advert for a game and it won't be anything like the actual fucking yeah. game. That's like a big thing at the moment. But you know it? it won't be anything like it. This one was just like what it said on the tin. And it's not a super shit, like, um, t untie the knot thing, which is so easy for like an hour. And it's just like, when are you going to get to the good shit? This is immediately great, so give it a go. Get into it. All right. But it's called Water Connect Puzzle, which they didn't... That sounds good. like a direct that translation shit. from like a Chinese company oh. or Russian company or something, doesn't it? Like it's oh, not. Didn't, I'm not funding Russia. It's not oh, like no. a whole name, is it? Don't say whole on the channel. <laughs> okay, what's your first fave then? Because mine was Water Connect Puzzle. My first fave is. Okay, this is like so, so random, but I just. I can't stop thinking about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I was looking on Twitter. And there are other people talking about this as well, so I'm not alone. I just think <laughs> this is so sad. This is a good thing now. Yeah, but this is kind of really lame. I just really love and I'm a little bit obsessed with the logo for the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary. Uh, it's just so great and it's so satisfying and it's just like so pleasing to look at. I just think it's a really strong branding and a strong design and I just, I'm just, like in awe of it, I just think it's so cool, so clever. Do you know what I think is really lovely about these faves <laughs> and shit videos is that sometimes that someone will comment down below and say, I've tried that game, or oh my God, I've just gone out and tried that biscuit. What a lot, you're right, they're so, what the fucking dickens are they supposed to do? Well, I'll, put, the I'll, I'll obviously Paris. put it up on screen, but you guys can see they've taken the Mickey ears and turned it into the number 30. And I just think that's really, really clever. You've taken the Mickey. And I just think it looks really nice. And yeah. I would buy all of the merch with this design on it. I just think it looks really nice. I just think it's very smart. They've taken a Mickey. It, it pleases me to look at. And they just slashed a line through it and now it says 30. Oh, but it is clever, isn't it? I don't, I can't. But I, I, I've seen, uh, uh, this is a discussion on, on Twitter and other people share the same opinion. I'm not the only one. Like, it's just, it's just It really is very, nice. I'm not, I'm not yeah. denying it's very nice to look at, but what, what is that? Let me like things. What is, no, this is not a let me like things <laughs> moment. You can't use that just because you've said something stupid. It will just come up on my timeline every now and then because I follow like all of the, the Disney park, like, accounts. And every time I see it, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's really good, isn't it? I'm sorry <laughs> she's wasted your time, first of all. Second of all, the reason that it feels like we're, we're anchors is because we have our hands together like this. Yes. Uh, would you like to see the news? We should do that one time. <laughs> good morning, how it's are not, you? not the news. This morning's top story, a man in the great... Well, where should we put our hands? Has... Turn the camera off. <laughs> um, right, do you want to do a shitter? Yeah, all right then. I'm sorry. <laughs> not like that. That's... You know, think about what you say. Think about things. Think about things. Okay, my first shitter is... 
Case case. <laughs> it's <sighs> shit. What is it? It's like a cross between rice and sand. What the fuck I is it? I actually don't know what it is. Is it a grain? What is it? Well, I actually genuinely don't I know. I don't know what it is. But I it's shit. Love it has case. no flavor. It's like. But it absorbs flavor. No, but that's bum. But then, oh, it's so good. I really like so it. So it's like tiny, tiny, tiny pieces of pasta. I think it's a grain. I'm, I really don't know that. I actually have no interest in looking up what it is. I was going to look it up and I don't want to because it annoys me. It's just like in your mouth. It's such an uncomfortable thing to have in your mouth. I think it has it's no really, flavor. It's great. I really oh, like God. it. Oh God. And you did this thing Bad the other day wrong. and it was, it was, well, couscous was. I wasn't aware you had such strong, mind you, I didn't pick that one. That was because it was a week that I forgot well, to pick. Well, I didn't really think that I had that strong feeling either, but when it's the entire meal, is a bowl of couscous. There were, there were roasted vegetables in there and a balsamic glaze. Okay, the balsamic glaze was sausages. lovely. And roasted veggies I like, but when it's like, when it's like a roasted courgette that's all kind of sloppy, but it's got these sort of like granules of couscous in it. There was something about yeah, it. That's great. What more do you want? Fucked me off. Don't test me today. What are we having for tea tonight? We're going to order something. No, we're not ordering anything. We have to. No, we're going to cook something. We can't. Yes, we can. <laughs> I hate you, Brit. <laughs> Are we doing my shitter now? No, we're not finished. If you think we're finished with that ordering conversation, then you are you are sorely mistaken. But I don't like couscous, no. Don't like it. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I don't like it. Don't make me eat it. Can I do my shitter now? Yeah, all right. Okay, my next shitter, I don't want to dwell on it too long, but... Um, Is it miserable? Are we going to be upset? No, no, no. It's Donda. I don't even really know Where's what that? that means. It's Kanye's latest album, Do Donda. And I took great offense to how he completely took over the iTunes homepage for so long. It felt like weeks and weeks and just splashed all of his discography all over the iTunes homepage. That really annoyed me. What's Donda? It's the name of his latest album. What I don't, I don't know what it means. There's so many reasons why I, I'm always so disappointed and saddened when I see people buying and eating up Kanye West music. Like, he's just not a good guy. He's he's very, he's just not a great egg, is he? I'm not disputing the fact that he's super talented. I think he's an actual genius with music, but I just feel like, how can you support someone like that? Could, I, I mean, I people have know. said that I'm wildly talented, but you know, you can't really support me because I'm a hardened criminal. There's a few things about this specifically that I, think is really gross. He's got a slew of featured artists on this album. Slew is a great word. Yeah, like a, a whole bunch. And I don't understand how or why, but he's not officially credited any of them. And like that is part of like how the rude. gimmick about this album is none of them are credited. Who's on it? A whole bunch of rappers that I don't know. But th my second point that I, I, I don't like about this is that two of the artists featured are Da Baby and Marilyn Manson. Wait, what was Dad Baby? He was the one who had that transphobic rant live on stage, doubled nah. down, and then did like a half-assed apology and then actually tried to do like a proper apology. I like, remember he was all over Twitter at one point. And people were like, what is Dad Baby? Yeah, so he's a he's a rapper. Oh, and he, oh, yeah. But he's a transphobe. Marilyn Manson's wow, obviously an abuser. Mind. But he's just, they're just like two of 10 artists. So first of all, I don't like the people he's working with. And second of all, I can't believe he's just not crediting them. Jay-Z's on there. Like how, how, what? Also, Couscous. Why would like you fun. not, why would you not want to be credited? But this album could end up being like number one. I just think that's so sad. What? Okay, my next fave then is our, our brand new veterinarian. <laughs> I love her. Okay, so our new vet. What so is her name? Well, I'm not going to dox her because she well, might... say her first name. No, because she might not want to be known that people know she's a vet. She you might just be... say her first name. Do no, you know but she is? might be moonlighting. You don't know what it is, do you? It's written on a piece of paper in there. I want to say <laughs> Helen, but I've just made that up, so it's probably not Helen. Our last vet was... We'll put a pin in that. I liked her. We'll put a pin in that. There was nothing wrong with her. You just get this thing with with certain people where you just hate them for no good reason. Plenty of reason, first no, of all. No, was she was no a maniac. Good reason. No, she was she a maniac. Wasn't. No. She, she I got I handed nice. over Bart the cat. I handed him over and she literally grabbed him by the tail and went, do it! No, no. She didn't. 
But anyway, Anne Yvette, uh, first of all, she's Irish. I've not met her yet. She's Irish, and I'm also Irish, which is no, lovely. Um, I've never been more proud to be Irish. She looks a bit like Leslie Roy, uh, who, you know, <laughs> is forever my favourite person in the world. She's more Leslie than she is Brona Monroe. <laughs> um, and when I gave Bart the cat over, I looked her in the eyes and I said, you're still capable of doing this. <laughs> He's so capable of this. Because she is. She's so lovely. At Bart is an absolute handful, right? And he she is took him and she best, yeah. he just loved her straight away. And she literally just like took him inside. She was like two minutes flat. She came out, she done it all, and she came out, she was all smiling and like fucking. I will just say as well, like he has to go for regular blood tests every three months. And normally it takes a few oh, days annoying. for us to have the results. But she phoned us the same day. Straight with away. Results. And I she's was really good. She's like blonde, Irish, very peppy, very Leslie Roy representing for Ireland. Lovely lady. And you know, thank you, Helen. Our new vet. That might not be her name. But I don't want to dox her. Right, okay. She might not want people to know she's a vet. Because everyone can tell from her first name, but, but okay. What if someone figures it out and then we get hauled into the court? <sighs> she might be moonlighting as a vet. You don't know, do you? you, can't, you My know. next favorite is, now at the time of recording this, th there's still some things that are up in the air, but. What, seven minutes to seven? Jamie Spears, Britney's father, has created paperwork to file for the end of Britney's conservatorship. Oh, it's yeah. been misreported widely at the moment that he has actually filed these papers. It's my understanding that, that hasn't happened yet and it's just that the documents have leaked and the media have taken it and they're mm. saying, oh my gosh. So obviously it's looking like it's going to happen. Um, and her lawyer also doubled down by saying that if he thinks this is going to protect him from being sued after the fact, he is sadly mistaken. But this is a really, really potentially positive thing and it could happen very, very soon. It might not. But I just feel like this is a big deal. And the fact that he's, it's not just him stepping down, it's he wants to end it. And I think that's a great thing. There's a lot of wording in there that's very gaslighty and very patronizing. But if the end result is the same, I think maybe it just needs to kind of just, just let, let him be a child and let him yeah, get the right. last word if it means that she can get her control back and then sue his ass afterwards. It all seems a little bit too good to be true at the moment. Um, That's why I think there's a lot going on that we don't suspicious. know. I wonder if her lawyer has basically said to him, like, do this and we won't sue you for hundreds of millions of dollars or do this and we'll only sue you for this or I wonder if there's something going on because yeah it is surprising. Thank you Nova. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments. And that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. What? Your time for a shitter. Oh, I wish you'd word things differently, just in life. <laughs> um, my next shitter is Nova not letting me live my best life and getting a nice takeout later on. Um, basically, I've, I've, we know we've been in this marriage now for nigh on 20 years and it doesn't get easier. Um, it's been spiraling right down the toilet. Um, my second one, this is legitimate now. Right, go on then. Is I am sick to death of going to the toilet. You've had this one before. No, I haven't. I'm sure you have. No, I haven't. But you, There's no sure way. There's no way. I'm Don't sure do you this have. to me. Do you think I've used this before? I think so. No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can't be bothered and you seem I to feel piss like all the time. I piss constantly it's literally like someone's left a fountain running which i understand because i'm constantly drinking i'm always hot and i like to drink a lot because i am real big and that means i have to piss all the time i think that i've not used this one before so we're gonna go ahead and, and that's fine you go ahead in. darling my shitter is, is shitting is the shitter 
I don't, I, it takes up time. It's uncomfortable. It's like, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. No, I'm going to just hang on like a bit longer just to kind of like save more of your life. But then, you know, you need to piss. Like when you've got to piss, you've got to piss. Like this yeah. morning I was lying there and I was like, I could just, I really want to fall back asleep again, but I need to that's piss. That's the worst thing is and a like, morning oh, piss. I have to go and yeah. piss again. Like yeah, I can't. that's the worst one. I'm in a relationship with the toilet. I'm always in there. Like leave me alone. I just want to live my life. But you always have, or if you're out and about and you think, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm just trying to slam a bottle of Chardonnay here, but you've got to just find, make sure you know where a toilet is because you've got to piss. So boring. It's just a bodily function. I know, but how annoying. Some of them are better than others. <laughs> I don't mind a sneeze. I love a sneeze. Oh no. I love a sneeze. No, why would, you, why would you say that now? I've not sneezed once yet and I've not had to have a it's tissue. It's not like a yawn. We're just like chancing it. Oh, up yours. You just dock stuff it. <laughs> Poor Barbara, RIP. Um, I reversed into her on the way home. Okay, so that was my next shitter as I can't stand it. Okay, my next shitter is a film that we saw a few weeks ago and it was by the renowned M. Night Shyamalan and it's called Old. Now, I understand that this got horrendous reviews. I understand it became a meme. I understand that the internet laughed and joked at it pretty much since the day of release. But we thought, actually, sometimes with Shyamalan, there's a few films that aren't very popular that we don't mind. And we thought perhaps this would be a film that we actually might have enjoyed on some level. We weren't expecting anything amazing, but perhaps we see something that other people don't because our taste is pretty horrendous. It was a struggle. It was hard hard work and we should have known better. It was so bad, so bad. And there were very serious parts of the movie where we turned to each other and just laughed. And just was, laughed. I was in utter disbelief. Now, I listened, whilst we just caught the on it, I was gonna put this as one of mine. And then I spoke to my brother and I was like, have you put a certain movie in yours? Because I feel like you probably would have done it. And she just looked at me and she was like, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I, I was going to, but I just thought I'd add in another one. But I felt the same way, which I know, I, like M. Night Shyamalan is just like my jam. And I was so will, like so many of his movies, I was just so willing. But then it gets to a part where it's so, so serious but you can't, you can't not but see humour in it because it was just, the song was so, the, the kind of like the climax, it completely disintegrated when you find out what the situation was. I don't think was. there was a single redeeming feature of it. Um, the, the, actually no, it was a pretty good cast and I feel sorry for the cast because they had a shocking story, shocking dialogue. It was just terrible pacing. The special effects were bad. The special effects weren't terrible. The dialogue was the worst thing about it oh, because it was, the cliff was bad. It was bad. less than that believable. so hokey. What cliff? There's a bit on when she's trying to climb up the cliff. It looked so superimposed. It was so bad. No, bro, over here. It's visual expert. It was bad. Visual, special um, visual effects expert. I feel but like the concept and the idea could have actually gone somewhere. Well, it's a book though, hands. isn't it? Isn't it a book or it's a graphic I novel? I, I can't know. remember. It's based on but some the actual, previous. But the actual idea could have been great. And I just feel like they did absolutely everything within their power to make it naff. But see, when, when we first saw the poster and we, we heard the title of the movie, I thought it was about half your drag. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling. That's ah! really rude, actually. Ah! Were you done with that one? Yeah. All right, I mean, I agree though. Yeah. Such a shame because he was starting to find his footing again, I think, with like, all right, people didn't care for glass, but like Split and The Visit, it was like he was starting to kind of like regain his, you know, joie de vivre and, you know, just fucked it. Also, like, he always has to have a cameo in his films, which is, like, fun. I, I love it when, like, a director, like, has a, has a cameo. That's great. But he cast himself as, like, a fairly important secondary character with quite a few lines, and it's just so embarrassing and so indulgent. Well, he did that in Lady in the Water, and it was, it got pretty... That was, that was <sighs> bad. That was the fact that he cast himself in. Yeah, yeah uh, it's like... He, he can't act very well, though. No. I mean, listen, if you're, if you're watching... <laughs> I literally like owe my childhood to you. I love you so much, but your acting can just put yeah. a pin in it. Just put a pin in yeah. it. Keep it to like one line. What if he's watching? Oh, I feel sick. I hope he is. Oh, I feel That's sick. some good advice. I feel sick. 
Right, go on then. Now, my next favourite, you are going... Oh, hang on. I've just pulled something out of my nose. Now you know what it feels like. Oh, how the tables have turned. Oh, you're baptised now. Are you quite ready? You're going to hate this. My next fave is a lady who I've discovered actually um, before we got to this house, but we haven't done a favourite since then. Um, and I've kept her to one side. Um, she's, you know, uh, a world renowned chanteuse. Who is this going to be? <laughs> she's French. I'm not this. She's called Indila, and I love her. She looks a little bit like this. What's that one that I like? <laughs> <laughs> Hale, I mean, obviously, I thought that was just sounds, Hale and I watched it with subtitles, and she's actually saying things. I mean, I don't understand what the fuck she's saying at all, but the music's banging. Um, I found basically I like it was that one. it was I was watching a compilation of so absolutely embarrassingly sad of, of potential songs that could be used for countries that are debuting in Eurovision or like whatever, and it was like mon. Monaco, and it was like in dealer. She's French, but she's not from, she's not Monica Gisk. I think that's what you say from, anyway. Um, it's a chicane, and it was this one song, and it's called, Tur it, what's it called? Tourne dans, Tourne dans, Tourne dans la vide. Yes. It's fine. It's, it's haunting. Tourne, Tourne dans la vie. It's haunting. It's a bit of a dirge. Haunting. Haunting. Is she like really big in France? Haunting. Don't be rude about her size. She's tiny. Um, yeah, yeah, she's very big in France. Um, she's also known, I think, in, in other European countries. So I know that all the people watching this are aware of her. Comment down below if you are a fan of Indila. She hasn't done music for a while though. She appears, you know, once in a while. She did a she Lazy did a bitch. She did a duet with Amia, I think. No, she never did. I think she did, and it was called My Carousel. <laughs> Don't do it. He's so fucking fine. Sha, 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 da, da, da. You would, Monje, is sha, sha. Yeah. Um, anyway, yes. Her music is so kind of weird. It's very whimsical, but it's kind of very like powerful as well. Big boom, boom. And, you know, I don't understand da, da, what she's saying. Da, 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 so French. It got its French as you like. She it's wears it. a beret. She wears a beret. She's riding a huge animatronic croissant all the way down the, the Champs Elysees. <laughs> uh, anyway, love her. Love that bitch. <laughs> um, is this my last fave? It is. God, it is. Okay, so this one, um, I wanted to start off by saying, and then like just branch up a little bit specific. I'm really enjoying that there seems to be a load of pop apps making comebacks, like from my childhood or coming back together. Specifically, I like that there's boy bands coming back together because I feel like we've had a real boy band drought. And I know we, we haven't got too many girl bands at the moment, but there was a time when we had a lot of girl bands. We had Fifth Harmony, we had Little Mix, there was... Uh, who, who is a girl was, band that is currently together? Well, that's what I was gonna say. Like, they, are, they are starting to dwindle a bit. They're not on Vogue anymore. No, I, I don't feel like groups are at all, but there's some boy bands coming back together. Specifically, JLS is making a comeback and they've got a new song out. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of their new song, but I like JLS. I think JLS are really fun and they're really talented. But then also, it was announced, was it today or yesterday or this week sometime, that The Wanted are coming back. And I'm really excited about that because I really like The Wanted. They're a British band. They were crazy successful in the noughties. Um, and I think they also made it big in America. I remember them performing on Jimmy Fallon and things like that. Um, but they went on hiatus towards the end of the noughties and they're now coming back. They're doing a greatest hits album with a few new songs. And one of the main reasons why I think this is so... What? I'm just looking at you, carry on. One of the main reasons why I think this is so interesting and so great is because one of the members of the band, his name is Tom. He last year was diagnosed with an inoperable stage four brain tumor. And obviously that is horrific. And I can't even imagine he's got like a wife and kids. And I just think that's so awful. But at the beginning of this year, he shared on Instagram that um, his treatment is working and it's actually, I think the phrasing was, it's shrinking significantly, which is just the most amazing positive news. And for this comeback, he's organized a charity concert raising money 
for, I don't think it is the cancer research charity, but it is for literal cancer research, specifically for brain tumors. One of their big comeback performances is gonna be part of this concert. What? Just the one off? I think just the one off, but I, they probably will tour because it's the greatest hits album. I think they're doing like some new music tacked onto the end of the greatest hits album. What was that one album. song they did that I quite liked? They're like in a, they're on like cars and stuff. Oh, oh, I know. I just can't let it go. Uh, 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 what's it? Uh, 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 war zone. Uh, oh, I love. Ooh. They've got such lovely voices and they just always seem like nice guys. So I'm, I'm happy to see them back together. And I think the news of Tom's health as well is really positive. So I wish him all the best. And I just think it was a nice, positive thing to read. It is. I didn't really know anything about this, this group. I couldn't have told you who they were walking down the street, but I love, I love any time, with the stark exception of steps. I love any, when any time a group decides to come back and just go for another world. Yeah. Another go <laughs> round. As well. Like why the fuck not? Who doesn't want to kind of like relive some kind of magic like sugar babes are doing it at the moment and they're doing like a remix album of their debut album and like you said steps like i just i really like Who that cares? like i love it when they just come back you know daphne and celeste well they don't want to come they, don't, they shouldn't come back though should they okay. do you remember daphne and celeste i know the name yeah they've not Who, made fuck back. you your mama too right <laughs> Do you want to We're a group it? that's still together, aren't we? Are you doing your last shitter now? We should well we should break up. <laughs> we should break up and then come back. We'll give, we'll give it four <laughs> years and then we'll post a video and be like, ah, who wants some more garbage from just this dining table? Okay. <laughs> My last shitter is oh, I don't even I remembered it. I'm sure I'm gonna ruffle some feathers here, but I have My feathers. We're entering it what? I'm gonna ruffle my feathers. Well, as well as probably some people who are watching this that will love this, it's a movie. We're, we're entering into a period of time where I'm having to sit through a bunch of shit that Nova wants to watch that I just don't want to. Yeah. And you know, that's I guess that's what marriage is, is one of you's happy and one of you isn't. <laughs> um, I guess that's kind of what, you know, a marriage is. Um, but Nova made me watch Charlie's Angels the other day. It wasn't just me that made you watch it. I feel like the whole group wanted to watch it. Yes, but our friend Kat, and I'm sure she won't mind me saying, has made us watch some utter shit in the past. So whenever she listen, suggests something, listen, I take it with a pinch of salt. None of us claims that Charlie's Angels wasn't utter shit, but it's gold shit. No. It's shit that needs oh, to be treasured and protected. So bad, so and dreadful. hung up in the Louvre. Dreadful, hung up in the loo, put in the loo, flushed, it's a shitter. That's what it is, it's not I good. I just couldn't believe that you'd never seen Charlie's Angels before. No, well clearly I had, I could have gone my whole life without seeing it. It's one of those movies I feel cheated. that I think if you don't have the nostalgia attached to it, I can maybe understand how you might not like it. But having oh. seen that film oh, really? as understand. a child, it's just brilliant. It's, it's just brilliant. Br brilliant. It's so good. Everything about it is so good. You know, I'm going to add an extra word to sh to my sh list of shitters, and it's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Do you know there's a certain group well, of words? Isn't I there? had a teacher, brilliant, that used to say Brillo pads. Charmaine says Brillo pads. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she I've does. Never heard her say yeah, she that. fucking says it all the time. I've never heard what? her say that. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Well, you know there's certain words where you just think like, aren't you a primary school teacher? Brilliant. You wouldn't say, you don't say that. Don't say that. Well, hot, it is. You, you say hot fucking shit. I wouldn't go that far. What would you even Although Lucy about? Lou is hot fucking shit. Your methodologies are antiquated and weak. Oh, Lucy Lou was so cr cr fucking hot in that, but it's a terrible film though. <laughs> Apart from the it bit where hurts. her souffle collapses, I thought that was funny. <laughs> but I just, it was like, what's going on? It's so w weird. Like there was no story to it. There was so, so much what? story and twists and turns no, and double crossing shy, shy. And, and action packed Drew adventure Barrymore, fun. Drew Barrymore falling out of that window and she's held on by just like a tiny G-string. What a twist, was. what a twist. No. Thought she died, she hadn't. She would have had a fucking yeasty. That G-string went right up her snatch. Okay, what's your last shitter? My last one, I had to like get some notes up to make sure I was getting everything correct about this because it's a bit, oh, I just didn't want to no. like say things that I didn't know what I was talking about. What am I doing? So my last shitter is Nicole Scherzinger. <laughs> Was it 2020 that Not they called? She came back with the Pussycat Dolls with React. Oh, yes. And yeah, the Pussycat Dolls. That bit. was amazing. That, that was incredible. We all loved that. Banging, banging, banging comeback song. 
and it was like, oh my gosh, the Pussycat Dolls are back, exactly how we love them. And then kind of COVID's got a bit scary, so their tour got kind of canceled and they didn't promote anything. And they just left us with that one song that wasn't ever was really promoted. That one. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. It wasn't a bad song. So it has come out recently that the creator of the Pussycat Dolls, I think their name is Robin Antin, is that correct? That's her, yeah. She's is GRL as well. Suing Nicole Scherzinger. Oh because uh, allege she alleges that Nicole is in breach of her contract for this reunion, this comeback. Pre-lockdown, Nicole had agreed to 49% of this new business venture called PCD Worldwide, and that would have incorporated tickets, music, merchandise, and everything. 49%? That, that is a fucking lot for one member of this band. Do they all get 49%? No. How does that work? I think the others got something like 12% or something, but she had 49% and that was what she agreed to, okay? Now, oh, Robin- Oh, she's not happy about that. Robin alleges- What a saga. That now that the world is starting to open up for better or for worse, and they're starting to get the ball rolling and we're getting the tour back on track and everything, that she now wants 75%. <laughs> and Robin's like, no, bitch. No, 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 no. What? Our agreement was 49%, which is already taking the piss. And now you're saying you want 75%. I made you. What the fuck is this? We so all want 75%. You don't ask for it. The reason why we don't have new Pussycat Dolls music and the reason why this tour is in limbo is because Nicole Scherzinger is a greedy bitch, allegedly. She denies all of this. She denies that she ever agreed to 49%. And she says that it's all completely false and fabricated and she's going to fight this lawsuit. But what a great big bitch. How selfish. React was amazing. I want more and I just I'm really pissed off I I don't know you hear things don't you you've seen that clip of Nicole Scherzinger taking that microphone off that guy do you remember she was doing a duet and she was just like oh, yeah. it, you're not gonna have it and that time where is she melody comes out yeah, and she, she looks really sings, pissed off. And she looked furious. You could tell, though, that um, they clearly had a bit of an argument before because Melody really oversang that on purpose. She did that to piss off Nicole. <laughs> It wasn't just Melody not knowing what she was doing. She did that to piss off Nicole. And Nicole's also done some, she's, she's sang yeah. some fucking bum notes, hasn't she? Yeah. Um, although she did that lovely rendition of... Memories. No. Oh, she does that really well. Remember it? No, she wouldn't. Turn to me. She does that really no, well. No, her voice is far too like. She does that really well. No, she doesn't do it well. She does. Who are you? Don't know anything. No. Argentina. Oh yeah, she does that well. Yeah, the truth is out there. That's the X Files. <laughs> What is it? Don't cry for me. Argentina. Nicaragua. The truth is I never loved you. Yeah. Na 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 ba na. Na 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 my na wild na days. Na my na salty chickies. Don't na take na the piss na then. Na Do you know how it goes? No. Don't cry for, don't cry. That's enough now. Don't. That's enough. Don't. That's don't. enough. I mean, I, I'm always telling Argentina not to cry for me, but they do. So, what, you know, what can you do about it? They won't listen. Is that listen. the end? Oh, you're baptised now. <laughs> Thank you so much for this Olympia treat, for, for it, for coming to see yeah. it. Uh, we've got some sh birthday shout outs to do. Did you add that one that was added today? No. Look in, in the messages. Today? We have got three September babies all born on the 9th. <laughs> so, happy birthday to Kylie, Jason, and Samantha. Oh my God, happy birthday, guys. Also for September 10th, we've got Paul and Escodia. Hi, happy doll. Birthday. Happy birthday, darlings. Um, and then also for those two there. September 11th is Greg's birthday. Happy birthday. And the 12th is Craig's birthday. Happy oh, birthday. happy birthday, darlings. If you would like to join the Novimpia cult patron, there's a message afterwards. And you know, some of those guys yeah. get birthday shout outs over there. Yeah. What else is there? Oh, they, there's outtakes from Nigella parody. What else is there? There's the asshole race that we're starting The asshole soon. race. Yes. Um, which we're going to be doing a cast video very, very soon. Um, submissions are now closed for that. So but thank you for everyone who submit. If you'd like to watch, 
watch all the submissions and all every, every single week. Um, that's going to start really soon, and it's Patreon exclusive. It's going to start, and you get get a chance to vote for all the contestants and shit. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, that's probably it, isn't it? Social media's yeah. here. Oh, you get it. Yeah. And a happy baptism to our newest patrons, Tors, Helen, Maxi Moo, Jason Tamayo, Oh What Mike, Builder Cup, Stephen Alban, Carl Smith, Anne Russell, Kelbel Zaboz, Gary Klein, Lord Velveteen, Emily Pankinson, Gordon Smith, This White Dude R, Una Hora Despues, Wow You're Awesome, Robert Thomas, Craft Tree, LSD, Austin Davis, Loki Eisenhower, Samuel Thomas, Jacob Beaumont, Michael Majesty, Caitlin Sykes, Andrew Bartlett, Yogi Herbert, Velveteen, and Sophie the G. Alright. Why are you sending me that for? Oh, you're baptized now. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. <laughs>